Meghan Markle's podcast Archetypes debuted on Spotify last week, topping the listener charts. In conversation with Serena Williams and Mariah Carey across the first two episodes, Meghan shared more details about her uncomfortable experience within the British monarchy. Joined by her husband and the couple's son Archie Harrison for an interview to promote the podcast, Harry hinted at friction within the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped away from royal duties in 2020 to become financially independent and pursue other projects. The couple have since entered a development deal with Netflix, as well as signed a multi-year podcast partnership with Spotify. The stated aim of Meghan's podcast, Archetypes, is to rip apart the boxes women have been placed into for generations, but the series has also proved to be another avenue for leveling criticism against the royal family. During the first episode, featuring a conversation with tennis ace Serena Williams revolving around women and ambition, Meghan said, I don't remember ever personally feeling the negative connotation behind the word ambitious until I started dating my now husband. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex kept their titles despite leaving the royal family two years ago. Image, Getty, the first two episodes of Meghan's podcast, Archetypes, have now been released. Image, PA, care more about Kate. US turns eye to Duchess of Cambridge as Meghan sparks outrage. Meghan Markle has seemingly lost interest in the US after one insider claimed the media is more likely to feature the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Despite the fresh accusations from Meghan, it appears the US media is warming more towards Kate Middleton and Prince William. Read more here. Meghan then spoke about having to continue with a planned royal engagement in South Africa after being told there had been a fire in the nursery in which her son Archie, who was unharmed, was meant to have been taking a nap. Promoting the podcast, in an interview for New York magazines The Cut alongside Prince Harry and the couple's son Archie Harrison, Meghan discussed the tension that arose when she and Harry first tried to leave. Recalling their proposal of a half-in, half-out solution, Meghan said, that, for whatever reason, is not something that we were allowed to do, even though several other members of the family do that exact thing. During the same interview, Harry suggested some members of the royal family aren't able to work and live together. Don't miss Festival of Brexit farce, £120 million project falls flat, report toll of foreign criminals who should be deported surges to record high, reaction Emmanuel Macron pats himself on back, proven Brexit wrong. Latest nine times cheaper. Boris unveils UK sitting on energy gold mine, breaking, in a poll that ran from 6 p.m. on Wednesday August 31st, to 10 a.m. on Thursday September 1st, Express. Co.uk asked readers, should Meghan and Harry lose their titles? A total of 17,559 people responded, with a staggering majority, 98%, 17,234 people, answering yes, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should renounce their royal titles. Only 2%, 273 people, responded no, while a further 52 people said they did not know. In the hundreds of comments left below the accompanying article, readers justified their votes. 7 Revealing Quotes from Meghan Markle's The Cut Interview Express Co.uk has compiled a list of seven of the most revealing quotes from Meghan's 6,500-word bombshell interview with the cut. She's allowed to talk, I've never had to sign anything that restricts me from talking. I can talk about my whole experience and make a choice not to. She also said, I'm, like, so excited to talk. She was told by a South African member of the Lion King live-action cast in 2019, when you married into this family, we rejoiced in the street the same we did when Mandela was freed from prison. Meghan is keen to get back on social media, do you want to know a secret? I'm getting back. On Instagram.
Meghan is still viewed as a princess she says, I was conscious of the fact that there are little girls that I meet and they're just like, oh my god, it's a real life princess. On her relationship with Prince Harry, we're like salt and pepper. We always move together. On her relationship with the royal family, I think forgiveness is really important. It takes a lot more energy to not forgive. But it takes a lot of effort to forgive. I've really made an active effort, especially knowing that I can say anything. On Harry's relationship with Prince Charles, Harry said to me, I lost my dad in this process. It doesn't have to be the same for them as it was for me, but that's his decision. Meghan and Harry sat down with the cuts Alison P. Davis for an extensive interview, image, Campbell Addy for the cut, the verdict was near unanimous, with the overwhelming majority of readers explaining why Meghan and Harry's royal titles were no longer deserved, encapsulated by username Shaker Vara's words, yes, of course. Username Alpha Silk was more emphatic, saying, yes, yes, yes. Way overdue username Beehive Matter of Factly wrote, the titles should have been removed immediately they stopped as working royals, and moved out of the UK. Other readers took to discussing the matter in more detail, username World Watcher saying, maybe his title of Prince is his birthright but his other titles the Duke of Sussex, Earl of Dumbarton, and Baron Kilkeel can be and should be removed. Trending username Alfonso de Barbo said, the royal family needs to implement a policy where for any titles granted there needs to be a preliminary phase to see if the individuals etc. deserve such an honor. And if they don't measure up, the titles are automatically rescinded. A 10-year trial period would cover it. Username E8 meanwhile, questioned the validity of the British title system in general, writing, My question is why do they still have them? Username Exiled in the Desert SW took the thought even further, saying, Titles such as King, Queen, Prince, Princess, Duke, Duchess, etc., 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 and all the special privileges that go with them, have no place in the 21st century anyway. Only a nation that lives in the past would continually endorse a class system that treats the privileged few as demigods, simply because of who they are, not what they have achieved. However, username Slowburn was less enthusiastic about reform, writing, it would take an act of parliament to accomplish that. It's hardly worth the trouble. Meghan and Harry sat down for a bombshell interview with Oprah in March 2021, image, Getty. Prince Harry's tell-all memoir, rumored to contain further uncomfortable revelations for the royal family, is expected to hit shelves in time for Christmas. However, Page Six reported the book may be delayed until next year because the Duke of Sussex is unsure about its publication. Entertainment Tonight quotes an anonymous source claiming that the royal family is disappointed by Meghan Markle's latest comments in The Cut magazine and on her podcast. They are distressed that after stepping back from the royal family, claiming a need for privacy, she continues to publicize family matters.